Psalm 51, for the director of music, a Psalm of David, when the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will turn back to you. Save me from blood guilt, O God, the God who saves me, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. In your good pleasure, make Zion prosper. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then there will be righteous sacrifices, whole burnt offerings to delight you. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalm 52, for the director of music, a mass kill of David. When Doeg the Edomite had gone to Saul and told him, David has gone to the house of Ahimelech. Why do you boast of evil, you mighty man? Why do you boast all day long, you who are a disgrace in the eyes of God? Your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor, you who practice deceit. You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. Selah. You love every harmful word, O oh, you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at him, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. In your name I will hope, for your name is good. I will praise you in the presence of your saints. Psalm 53, for the director of music, according to Mahaleth, a masculine of David. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will the evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on God? There they were, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalm 54, for the director of music, with stringed instruments, a masculine of David. When the Ziphites had gone to Saul and said, is not David hiding among us? Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. 
Strangers are attacking me. Ruthless men seek my life, men without regard for God. Selah. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will sacrifice a freewill offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. Psalm 55 For the director of music, with stringed instruments, a maskil of David. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me, and I am distraught at the voice of the enemy, at the stares of the wicked, for they bring down suffering upon me and revile me in their anger. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death assail me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, Oh, that I had the wings of a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee far away and stay in the desert. Selah, I would hurry to my place of shelter, far from the tempest and storm. Confuse the wicked, O oh Lord. Confound their speech, for I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they prowl about on its walls. Malice and abuse are within it. Destructive forces are at work in the city. Threats and lies never leave its streets. If an enemy were insulting me, I could endure it. If a foe were raising himself against me, I could hide from him. But it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship as we walked with the throng at the house of God. Let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the grave, for evil finds lodging among them. But I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. He ransoms me unharmed from the battle waged against me, even though many oppose me. God, who is enthroned forever, will hear them and afflict them. Selah. Men who never change their ways and have no fear of God. My companion attacks his friends. He violates his covenant. His speech is smooth as butter, yet war is in his heart. His words are more soothing than oil, yet they are drawn swords. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. But you, O oh God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of corruption. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men will not live out half their days. But as for me, I trust in you. Psalm 56 For the director of music To the tune of A Dove on Distant Oaks Of David, a miktam When the Philistines had seized him in Gath Be merciful to me, O God For men hotly pursue me All day long they press their attack My slanderers pursue me all day long Many are attacking me in their pride when I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust. I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? All day long they twist my words. They are always plotting to harm me. They conspire, they lurk, they watch my steps, eager to take my life. On no account let them escape. In your anger, O oh God, bring down the nations. Record my lament, list my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will turn back when I call for help. By this I will know that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? I am under vows to you, O God. I will present my thank offerings to you. For you have delivered me from death and my feet from stumbling that I may walk before God in the light of life. Psalm 57 For the director of music to the tune of Do Not Destroy of David, a miktam, when he had fled from Saul into the cave. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, for in you my soul takes refuge. 
I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God Most High, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. Selah. God sends his love and his faithfulness. I am in the midst of lions. I lie among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. Selah. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake, my soul! Awake, harp and lyre! I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Psalm 58, for the director of music, to the tune of Do Not Destroy, of David, a miktem. Do you rulers indeed speak justly? Do you judge uprightly among men? No, in your heart you devise injustice, and your hands mete out violence on the earth. Even from birth the wicked go astray, from the womb they are wayward and speak lies. Their venom is like the venom of a snake, like that of a cobra that has stopped its ears, that will not heed the tune of the charmer, however skillful the enchanter may be. Break the teeth in their mouths, O God. Tear out, O Lord, the fangs of the lions. Let them vanish like water that flows away. When they draw the bow, let their arrows be blunted, like a slug melting away as it moves along. Like a stillborn child, may they not see the sun before your pots can feel the heat of the thorns, whether they be green or dry, the wicked will be swept away. The righteous will be glad when they are avenged, when they bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. Then men will say, surely the righteous still are rewarded. Surely there is a God who judges the earth. Psalm 59, for the director of music, to the tune of Do Not Destroy, of David, a miktem, when Saul had sent men to watch David's house in order to kill him. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evil doers and save me from bloodthirsty men. See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, O Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Arise to help me. Look on my plight. O oh Lord God Almighty, the God of Israel, rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Show no mercy to wicked traitors. Selah. They return at evening, snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. See what they spew from their mouths. They spew out swords from their lips, and they say, Who can hear us? But you, O Lord, laugh at them. You scoff at all those nations. O oh, my strength, I watch for you. You, O God, are my fortress, my loving God. God will go before me and will let me gloat over those who slander me. But do not kill them, O Lord, our shield, or my people will forget. In your might, make them wander about and bring them down. For the sins of their mouths, for the words of their lips, let them be caught in their pride. For the curses and lies they utter, consume them in wrath, consume them till they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that God rules over Jacob. Selah. They return at evening, snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. They wander about for food and howl if not satisfied. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. O oh, my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O oh God, are my fortress, my loving God. Psalm 60, 
for the director of music, to the tune of The Lily of the Covenant, a miktam of David, for teaching, when he fought Aram Nehareim and Aram Zobah, and when Joab returned and struck down 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. You have rejected us, O God, and burst forth upon us. You have been angry. Now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open. Mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Selah. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my scepter, Moab is my wash basin. Upon Edom I toss my sandal, over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God, you who have rejected us and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless. With God we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies.